Everybody do the shank, a pot of it, 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 shank, a pot of it. Hey guys, what's up everyone? This is the Shankopotamus, and I am back with a series that I started a while back, but I haven't really touched in a while, and it did have a lot of popularity back when I started it, but I just really haven't kept it up, and it's called Who Really Uses That? And uh, I think the last video I put it was actually back in January, and I'm going to try to bring this back because I know it was quite popular. And basically, it's a series where I use weird guns that people are not accustomed to seeing, and I get some decent gameplay with it. And in this episode, I'm featuring the Uzi with the silencer and ACOG attachment and then I have the M1911 with silencer as my sidearm I have frag, willy peat, motion sensor and my perks I'm rocking are flak jacket, warlord and a marathon pro uh, I don't have flak jacket or warlord pro because I don't ever use them ever and it's kinda just a random setup but warlord of course I need to have the two attachments and the Uzi has some crazy recoil probably one of the worst submachine guns and the silencer obviously doesn't help out with that but uh, you're about to see some gameplay of me using this, so I hope you guys enjoy, and the gameplay will start right now. Alright guys, so the gameplay is starting off right now, and uh, you're going to notice this gun is pretty pimped out. I'm rocking my um, ACOG and the silencer. It looks pretty ridiculous on this gun, to be honest, and I'm putting, I have some camo on this. I don't know what it is. It's blue, some type of blue camo. To be honest, I don't really use gun camos ever, and you're going to see, like, look right here. Like, I just shot a whole clip at them. And I got a bunch of hit markers, and I actually end up dying here. But the damage on the Uzi is definitely the worst set of the submachine guns, and it's really hard to use. But I think I'm going to use a different crazy camo in each game I play, so you guys can maybe recommend camos and whatnot that I could use. Because I just don't use camos with my regular guns, because I don't really care. But I thought I'd do something crazy. So I, I come into this room right now, and I see that guy camping on the ground. And I know that I'm outclassed, so I try to switch to that. But then I get flashbanged right here. And basically in this situation, I kind of confuse the guy. Like in this situation, as you can see right here, the guy is obviously just camping on the ground. And I had a feeling he was there. So I know that the Uzi is going to be outclassed by whatever gun he has. He probably has a FAMAS or something. So what I decided to do is actually go around the other way. And by taking this longer route, I was actually able to kill this camper who was laying on the ground before someone else actually kills me. And definitely one really big tip when playing with this setup is you really have to keep your distance between yourself and the enemies because in a one-on-one -on -one gunfight, you're going to lose 9 times out of 10. This gun is only good at spraying maybe one guy at once. Like, you're never going to be able to get double kill sprays like you could with the uh, AK-74U or the MP5K even. It's a pretty bad submachine gun, so keep your distance. But you're going to see me uh, toss a nade right here and... I'm just going to throw it up there and basically get a triple kill, which is pretty sick. So um, I just thought I'd put that in epic theater mode right there for you guys to see. But uh, I thought that was pretty awesome. It looks like I got the challenge for Warlord done right there. One of the challenges for it. I don't know. But um, I was like confused. I was like, what? Oh, a triple kill. And then like one of them was at the Claymore. But um, you're going to see the range right here. You see me trying to spray that guy down and I hit very few shots. I mean, my accuracy is usually pretty good, but... Even with the ACOG scope, it's pretty it's pretty bad with this gun. And I don't think the ACOG really helped me out all that much with aiming, so if I was to recommend a good attachment for this gun, if you're not just going for crazy gameplays like I am here, uh, I'd probably go with the extended mag, just because it does have 32 shots, which is pretty big for a submachine gun, considering some guns only have 20 shot clips, and I sneak up on these two guys behind them here. But, um... I go with the extended mags just because the clip runs out so fast because it has such a high rate of fire. I mean, all the submachine guns have a high rate of fire, but this one's just like all over the place. Uh, that sounds inappropriate, but um, I, I'd go with the uh, extended mags and then probably steady aim so you could just do some hip firing. And you have to be really sneaky. You'll see I'm, I'm always crouching down, hiding behind cars, sneaking up on people. And you're going to see a, a little sneaky situation right here. I don't really know what was going on. I was putting down one of my motion sensors, and we had a little ring around the rosy right here. And uh, I actually ended up killing this guy, but I thought that was just a little funny scenario right there. And I think I'm going to be adding in uh, different little theater mode clips into each one of these videos. I think they're kind of interesting just to show you a different angle of uh, the match. But uh, my kill streaks I'm using, I forgot to mention that at the beginning of the video. I'm using the counter spy plane, the napalm and the Valkyrie rockets, which is pretty pretty random. I mean, a lot of people do use the Napalm Strike, but 
I, I kind of just pick random ones, and I love the Valkyrie Rockets, because I honestly never use those. You're actually going to see me use them uh, a little bit later in this video, and I'm kind of a noob with the Valkyrie Rockets. Um, not so good at controlling them, but they're definitely not a kill streak I usually run. I usually just run the high ones, the uh, Blackbird, Chopper Gunner, and Attack Dogs, sometimes the Gunship if I'm on Jungle or something, but the point of these videos is to see something different, a change up from seeing simply um, at like ak 7 for u and FAMAS gameplay because I know that the community is oversaturated with that right now so hopefully this is a good change up and the gameplays don't expect them to be amazing I'm not gonna go out of my like go out of my way and play so many games with this crappy gun I mean I, I like to switch it up every once in a while like I want to use this crappy gun then switch to another crappy gun I'm not just gonna use the same one because uh, using this gun was quite frustrating and this was only I think this only took me a couple games to get this gameplay so it wasn't too difficult but expect the gameplays to be they'll be watchable they'll be 2.0 kd or over but don't expect any crazy flawless 49 and 0 gameplays i mean if i did get one of those that'd be pretty cool but <laughs> those are probably going to be unlikely and uh, i think it's coming up where i use my valkyrie rockets i'm not sure i do something pretty cool with the theater mode with that i actually cannot watch the gameplay while I'm doing the commentary in my recording software. I don't know why. My recording software has crashed on me three times during this commentary. Uh, which is pretty annoying. But uh, hopefully I'm going to try to get Vegas pretty soon. But I'm trying to get it for free. I don't know where I can get it. But I have Pinnacle Studios HD right now. It's constantly crashing on me. Get me pretty mad. But um, it looks like I'm going to be whipping out my Valkyrie rockets right now. And uh, I did some theater mode again, and we're going to follow this Valkyrie rocket all the way to the victim. And uh, actually, you pick up a kill with this one, which is pretty surprising, because I suck with the Valkyrie rockets. It's basically like a harder version of a Predator missile. And uh, I'm going to shoot another one off here. I actually don't get this guy, though. Unfortunately, I don't know if it's already showed me getting him or not. But uh, if you have any tips for the Valkyrie rockets, help me out. I know one tip I heard was you could shoot them really high up in the sky and then bring them down like a Predator. And apparently that's easier than shooting them just straight forward. But uh, I think that was X Jaws that had a video of that a while back. But um, I don't use them very much. If anyone is an expert on the Valkyrie rockets, you could drop in the comments uh, what you guys like to do with them. It's a fun kill streak. There's definitely a lot of fun kill streaks like the RCXD, the Valkyrie rockets. But if you're going for a lot of kills, you definitely want to rock those high ones. And it looks like I picked up a FAMAS right here. I hope you guys do not mind. I think I, yeah, I, I die right there. But. Uh, I'm gonna pick up other guns. I mean, my gun is completely out of ammo. I'm not gonna just kill myself in that uh, situation. I get a nice cook grenade right here. I've been getting really good with the frags. I used to use the Semtex a lot, but um, switched it up some. And um, a lot of times I'm putting these motion sensors uh, not in that situation right there, but a good place to put them is in a corner because you can actually see outside and it's like a mini radar. Uh, I usually use these just when I'm going to get Hacker Pro. And I really have kind of switched my role from using Hacker to using Marathon a lot right now. And I don't know why I've done that. But I don't... This guy I should have got right here. I pulled out... This pistol is absolutely terrible. This is the worst silenced pistol. I actually saw um, Xbox Ahoy did a review on the M1911. It's the worst pistol in the game. And when you put a suppressor on it, it takes three to five shots to kill a guy. Uh, depends on what distance you're at. But... I, I thought it'd be kind of cool if I was able to pick up a kill with it. I forget if I actually got a kill with it. I think in a different game I got a kill with it. But um, if I could do a game of M19, or I mean M1911 only uh, and get a good game with that, I think I might try that. I actually think I might try that because that would be amazing if I could be able to get a, maybe even a positive KD. Because if you go to look at your KDR with each of the specific guns, I think my kill to death ratio with the M1911 is maybe a point one, because rarely I'll whip that out, and when I do, I'm most of the time going to get killed, and I'll spray this guy down right here, he's using second chance, and uh, probably for a future video, I might have second chance on, so I hope you guys don't hate on me for that, I'm just going to go through and def definitely use all the different perks and attachments, I'm just going to try to go through every possible gun, so you guys can leave your suggestions, suggestions in the comments, for what you guys would like to see in the next video, just say like, I want to see you use this gun, this perk, this attachment, this kill streak. And if you guys would like to see any of the other videos of who really uses that, the older ones, the links to those will be in the description if you like to go check them out. 
and you can look forward to subscriber sunday again this sunday and uh be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it so i will see you guys next time peace out youtube